Hey guys, so um, here I am sitting in my man cave while you guys are watching a video. Uh, a lot of what you're seeing in the video right now is me going through and putting the back uh, floorboards down, putting, putting you know, right before the, the, the wall that goes into the empennage, there is a floorboard area, basically kind of the cargo area. That's what I'm working on here. It's a lot of the same stuff of drill hole, dimple hole, you know, put pop rivet in hole. You know, it's, it's the same thing over and over again. Um, you don't necessarily need me to zoom in. I, I will zoom in and talk a little bit here in a little while. But one thing I wanted to talk about was I, I saw some people on the forums talking about the fact that they're really wanting to get into, you know, building a plane, but they're concerned because they themselves are not pilots or are not a pilot. And I, I can't, I mean, I've said this a dozen times, I'm not a pilot either. You can build a plane and not be a pilot, okay? Here's the problem, and this is the problem that I'm running into. In order to fly an RV-10, an RV-10 is a complex aircraft. And by the way, if I get any of this wrong, please comment down below because I need to know. But in order to fly an RV-10, you know, it's a complex aircraft, you're gonna need to have a number of hours uh, in order to be able to get in the air, you know, legally. Uh, and we want to do everything legally. Um, so even if this plane were done today, I can't fly it. Well, that's a problem, right? Uh, the other thing is, is I can't even do the phases of the flight. Like, so, so if this were, again, if this were ready to go today, I can't go up and do the phases because as I understand it, you have to be a private pilot to do the phases. Now, I think there is a way to do the phases of flight as a student pilot, as long as there is a private pilot in the plane with you. I think you can do two people in the plane now. I think that's something that changed. Y'all, again, comment down below if I'm getting that wrong. Uh, but I don't wanna do that. Just strictly speaking, I, I, I'm jealous. Uh, I'm a greedy bastard. You know, I wanna fly my own plane, me, myself, and I, no one else, and I'm gonna do it. Part of that is because I want the accomplishment, right? I wanna be able to do this and go, hey, look at this cool thing I did. But there's another side to it. And the other side is, to be brutal and blunt about it, if I screw up and I kill myself, I don't wanna kill anybody else. So if, if for whatever reason, something I do in the plane is just bad and it goes off the rails, everything goes pear-shaped and I dart into the ground, um, I don't want somebody else to suffer that fate. That should be only my fate to suffer. So that means I have to solve this. I have to get, I have to get a pilot's license, you know? Um, and you will too. So this, this goes back to what I was talking about. You can build the plane all day long and not be a pilot, but you're gonna need to be able to solve this problem pretty quick and, uh, or at least before you're done building the plane. Otherwise the plane's gonna sit around, be done and never fly. Well, that's not gonna happen. Um, so to that end, uh, so there's a number of options. I can't rent a plane. Where I live, there's only one plane that's rentable and I love the owner, he's a great guy, but I don't trust his plane, sorry. Uh, the simple fact of the matter is I know that Moses flew that plane, first of all, and um, it, I know it's had prop strikes. I know it's had wing tip, stri wing tip strikes. I know it has been kind of abused by the people that have rented it. Uh, the rudder pedals are super stiff in that thing. I just, I don't trust it. Uh, I went up, I have about 40 hours in that plane. I went up, I was doing a solo. I was gonna fly to Chattanooga and just do, do a touch and go and whatnot. And I heard, I couldn't, the pedals didn't wanna move real well. And I heard like a rending metal behind me. <laughs> um, and I was like, nope, putting this on the ground. So I, I came back and landed it and I haven't flown it since. Now, to be fair, I know that plane probably has a hundred hours on it since that happened. So it's probably fine. But I think a lot of time we talk about personal minimums, you know, personal safety and all that. And just for my own personal feelings and well-being, I, I can't get, I, I don't want anything to do with that plane. And again, 
it's not the owner's fault. I know it's had a hard life and I know he maintains it very well. It's just, I can't bring myself to do it. It's, 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 I gotta do something else. And so since we have no other plane in this area that is an option, eh, and because, well, I can't fly my plane because, well, it's a pile of parts. Uh, and then even if it were finished, I couldn't fi fly it today. I have to solve this problem. And I'm about to say something, so I'll talk about the, how I'm going to solve that as soon as uh, me from the past is finished talking. So what I've been doing is working on all of the nut plates. So all along uh, this center channel that's in here, uh, there are various nut plates that go in here so that you, know, you can put, a, put something down over this, but then you still have access to do the inspections and whatnot later. And nut plates along, along here. Uh, this, of course, will be a solid piece of metal eventually. Uh, and then you, to get access, you go through and unscrew all the nut plates. Now there, there are a lot of mods out there to make like a little door, so you have access to the battery and other stuff that's back here. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I'm still pondering it, but it's it's an option. Um, but the one thing I would say is. None of this was hard, tedious mostly. None of this was hard, uh, but some of these holes didn't quite line up. I mean, it was mostly lined up, but once I um, got the, the, the rivets in on the ones that don't have a nut plate, I noticed that there was just ever so slight, a little bit of a crescenting going on of the piece of metal that was underneath. So I clamped them all together using my you know, Clico clamps, these are great, and drilled them out with a slightly larger number 12, you know, to make it, make sure that these, the bolt that I eventually use won't bind on the skin, and then attach the nut plates. And so, cool, those came out awesome. And so now I gotta do the other side, because as with all things, we have to do everything twice. Yeah, 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 do everything twice. Um, so how am I gonna solve this problem? So I've been shopping around, honestly, for a plane. I've been looking for a small, um, I don't know what, how you would describe it, a good starter plane, for the lack of a better term, you know, something that I could jump up in the air, fly around the pattern a bunch of times, you know, just fly around the patch and, um, you know, get my hours. I need, I need to get a number of hours. And since I figure... I still have over a year left in this plane. I mean, life, the simple fact of the matter is life being what it is, even if I went out there every single day, I've still probably got a year left to build on this plane, at least. Uh, some other people are able to build a lot faster than I am, and it just has to do with job, life, money, things, you know. Um, I, yeah, <clears throat> I still got time. So I figured I would get a small aircraft that I can jump into and fly and yeah, that's, that's what I wanna do. I've been looking around a lot and I actually found a small Piper Cherokee 140 that has got a lot of time on it, uh, honestly, but I mean, it's not scary. It's, it's had an overhaul, it's, you know, I've flown it, it's actually really nice and I bought it. So um, yeah, I bought a plane. And so that's my goal. My goal is now to, first of all, I gotta go get it. Uh, I have to arrange for a buddy of mine to get with me so that we can go get the plane, fly it back home and give it a place to live while I uh, get everything updated. So uh, I, even though I call myself a student pilot, uh, I was looking just the other day and my uh, test expired. So I've gotta, I've gotta retake the test. Okay, fine. And uh, I need to just do the medical thing online. So once I do that, I will be able to go fly around the patch and I'm gonna start doing videos around my flying and building at the same time. I'm really hoping that uh, the, the flying of my little plane will inspire me to build more. Um, you know, the difference between a Piper 140 and an RV-10 is gonna be ridiculous. I mean, like the RV-10, if you just look at the numbers, is like an order of magnitude <laughs> better than the Piper. And that's not talking bad about a Piper. The little Piper 140, the Cherokee, uh, is, it's gonna be great. But uh, yeah, the, the, the RV-10 is gonna shame it a little. 
but I figured if I get good with the Cherokee, get comfortable in it, fly it around a lot, and I'm happy in it, then I'll be able to do all of those things in the RV-10 just fine. Uh, and before any of you asked, we've already had it inspected. All the ADs have been taken care of, and the former owner is actually awesome. Uh, he's really, he, he actually was like, we're gonna make sure it's correct before we get it to you, et cetera. So that was cool. Um, so yeah, I, I bought a plane, and I'm going to fly it until the wheels come off. Uh, not the wings, I want the wings to stay on. But I'm gonna fly it and get get up in the air and do lots of things. And so, yeah, that's how I'm solving this. So again, can you build a plane and not be a pilot? Yes. Does that suck? Yes. <laughs> so you have to solve for becoming a pilot. That's really what I'm trying to get to. And uh, unfortunately, the only way that I can solve for that is by buying a plane. So Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys with what's going on and where we are and uh, I'm super excited and I can't wait to get out there and fly. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along. Uh, now, the question is, and this isn't kind of for my patrons, I don't know how you guys want me to do this. Uh, do you want me to, if it's just a flying video, don't include it as part of the patron stuff or do you want me to put my flying stuff in with the, well, it's for everybody, it's not just for my patrons. Do you wanna put my flying stuff in with the build video or do you want to have them completely separate or I'm not sure how to do that. And so I'm reaching out to you guys to, to let me know what you think should happen or uh, what you'd like to see or what you wouldn't like to see. Like you don't give a crap about me flying a little one Cherokee 140, that's fine. Okay, just let me know. <clears throat> well, now that we got that out of the way, let's get back to work. Um, I, I am really kind of excited, I gotta be honest. Looking forward to getting the plane. It's currently at a different uh, airport right now, the, you know, where I bought it from. And I've gotta go uh, arrange a flight between some friends who were gonna fly over there. And then a, a pilot buddy of mine and I are gonna fly it back. So hopefully soon, but I don't know. The weather sucks right now. It's cold, I've got my got my uh, heater running but you know plane don't wait for weather so I got to get out here and work on this sucker gonna work on putting some nut plate in nut plates in and then uh, from there I think we're starting the process of closing up the back permanently so yeah we all right so that last little bit wasn't bad uh, took these K one zero 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 dash zero eight nut plates put them in over there there's four on one side and then one over in the back got those in they look great uh now it's a matter of doing the rest of the work which is attaching the back so that's right here uh that's all these little holes that you see up here each one of them is a nut plate so i have to first attach the nut plate with a Clico, and then I have to match drill from the back the holes in the Clico, or in the nut plate to uh, to do the hole. Now there's three of them right here that are together, and I think it's this one, and these other two are for something else. I don't know, I'll have to look. But So that's what I'm gonna be doing, and this next little bit is more nut plate uh, installation, and I have to do the center piece as well. There's nut plates that go up it. So that's what I'm gonna be working on now. So at this point, I really wanted to have some video of me flying my new plane uh, back here to the hangar and talk about that and close on that and whatnot. But uh, two things are conspiring against me. So the plane is purchased. Uh, it's good to go. Uh, the things that's really conspiring against me at this point is the insurance. So got to have insurance, right? Um, waiting for that paperwork to go through. It's just taking a really long time. Um, so, but I've got that done and that's going through, uh, the plane, like I said, is paid for and thankfully the owner, the former owner, I'm the owner, the former owner is, uh, graciously letting it stay in his hangar until I go come and get it. It's, it's like a four hour, five hour drive, you know, away from here. So it's, it's an hour flight in, well, probably in this plane, it's going to be like two hours, but whatever, uh, this plane's not fast, uh, but the other thing that's conspiring against it is the weather. Uh, the weather, as many of you know, has sucked lately. Um, 
Uh, I'm hoping all my friends down in Texas are doing okay because I know you guys haven't had power and water and other things. But th that's been the other thing. And it's like a beautiful day today, too. I was like looking outside. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but uh, I hear people out flying in the pattern. Though I don't hear any right now. Uh, I was like, oh, I want to fly today, but I can't. So anyways, so that's what I'm waiting for, for, you know, the stars to align, for insurance to happen, and for me to be able to go get my plane. So soon, looking forward to it, and I will take you along when I fly. Uh, and But in the meantime, I'm going to keep working on Yield Beast because, uh, you know, the RV-10 obviously is the plane I really want to fly. So anyways, guys. Thank you so very much. Really appreciate you. This is where I'm actually going to end it this time. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. That was a terrible closing. I, I don't know why. I was like, should I do the click buttons thing or should I not? And I was like, nah, I'm not going to do it. Then I'm like, but then I have nothing to say. I'm really bad at this. Why do you guys watch this channel? <laughs> Jeez. See ya. That is awkward. <laughs>